The live streaming of AUS vs CNG second ODI will be broadcasted officially by Sony 6 Network in India. The second ODI will be telecasted on channel Sony 6 HD or Sony 10 1 HD. For the online streaming of Australia vs England second ODI you need to watch on sonylive.com where you can watch Live Australia taking on England. Catch Australia vs England second ODI live scores on Espnkris Info, Crike Buzz, and Yahoo Live Score. England has now beaten Australia in four out of the last five matches they have played against each other. It would not be unfair to call England the favourite going into this match. We, however, have a feeling that David Warner is about to come to the party in a big way and turn Australia's fortunes around. About the match. Australia was shocked by England's unrelenting attack in the first ODI and watched helplessly as the visitors chased down a record total with absolute ease. There are plenty of signs that this ODI series between Australia and England will be contested with much more vigour than the test matches ever were. Australia finds itself under pressure early in this tournament and wants to win this match to avoid needing three straight wins for a series victory. Match Preview Australia a score of above 300 had never been chased down any side at the McGee and so Australia can be faulted for thinking that their batsmen had done enough by reaching a total of 304. In hindsight, though, they were at least 40 to 50 runs short of what would have stretched England. Aaron Finch scored an excellent 100 but his strike rate of 89.91 was nothing special. Maybe if the other batsmen around him had provided some impetus then Finch's innings could be seen as the one holding everything together. The early loss of David Warner, Steve Smith and Travis Head pulled the Aussies back a bit but the partnership between Aaron Finch and Mitchell Marsh had set up Australia quite well before the death overs charge. The ODI game seems to be changing around the world and a lot more urgency needs to be shown throughout the innings. Pressure will mount on the likes of Smith, Head, and even Payne down the order to score much quicker than they have done in the past. The main threat to England will be David Warner. He has had a subdued summer where he has not quite been his dominant self. He needs to set himself free and go after the bowling like he does best. He could be the one batsman to boost totals for Australia from just part of seriously challenging. A look at Australia's bowling figures from the first match shows that all of their bowlers struggled in keeping the runs down. It is imperative to get batsmen like Jason Roy early otherwise they are going to make you pay. We don't think there is any need for Australia to panic just now and they should definitely stick with the same lineup for the second match as well. Mitchell Stark Pat Cummins, and AJ Ty provide pace, variation, and plenty of ODI knowledge to make things difficult for any team. Yes, Jason Roy played an exceptional inning but that is not going to happen in every match. The only player that would be seriously under pressure is Adam Zampa. He did not have any control over the opposition and is coming off a bad big bash season as well. We would persist with him for the time being but can see Smith changing him out for another batsman to further strengthen the batting quite easily too. England. There were a couple of smaller things that caught our eye about England's performance in the first match apart from the brilliant Jason Roy century. The first was the difference Mark Wood's extra pace made to the England bowling. The second was Owen Morgan's captaincy. He is an absolute master of the ODI game and rotated his bowlers very smartly. Morgan knows that he does not have to over-attack in a self-contained limited overs game but did not shy away from putting fielders in catching positions when the new batsman came into bat. England has built its ODI team since the 2015 World Cup debacle to be very aggressive throughout. They have made a habit of crossing scores of over 300 and don't consider it anything other than routine right now. We fully expect them to continue attacking Australia even though it is a high-risk strategy. Jason Roy, Johnny Barstow, and Alex Hales have been given the license to play freely while Joe Root acts as the anchor. His inning of 91 not out was slower in terms of strike rate to Aaron Finch but it was his awareness of handing the strike over to Roy that made it so impressive. With Morgan, Butler, Ali, and Wokes to follow Root, England knows it has plenty of batting depth and so does not worry about losing a few wickets up front. The same approach is also true of them when they bat first. England has the batting to consistently put the pressure back on the Australians in a manner that the hosts may not be used to being treated in their own conditions. There is some scope for improvement from the bowlers, though, especially Chris Wokes, who has lacked that bite in his bowling this summer. Pitch and conditions crystal clear weather has been forecast for the match in Brisbane. The Gabba has put up some excellent batting surfaces in the barrel and we expect the same to be the case for this ODI. The large playing area at the Gabba will bring the spinners into play and we expect the leg spinners to play a huge role for both their teams. A high-scoring match looks all but certain. The first ODI of the five-match ODI series saw heroic performance from Jason Roy who scored match-winning 180.
England register their first win against Australia on the tour with satisfying victory after they were tormented BU home side in the Ashes. Aaron Finch is another who scores century against England but it goes in nine as Morgan Army clinched the victory. Certainly the limited oversight of England is strong and can accept and counter any challenge in various condition. The batting has depth and bowling is good from the Britishers. In a press conference Australia skipper focus on giving higher totals to the England side as 300 OB board is not guarantee a victory. This will be another entertaining game as home side is down and somehow they will look to level the series in next game. So do vote and comment below on Australia vs England second ODI match prediction. England probable 11, Alex Hales, Jason Roy, Owen Morgan, Chris Wokes, Joe Root, Moe Nully, Liam Plunkett, Adil Rashid, David Wiley, Johnny Barstow, Joseph Butler, Vic Han. Australia probable 11, Steve Smith, C, David Warner, Tim Payne, Vic Han. Aaron Finch, Cameron White, Josh Hazelwood, Mitchell Stark, Marcus Stoines, Pat Cummins, Travis Head, Mitchell Marsh.